As leader of the government, Giuseppe Conte had overseen one of the most challenging coalitions in recent times. Battling one political crisis after another, Conte aimed at being a stabilizing force between two vastly different political parties, the far-right League and the anti-establishment Five Star Movement. It proved to be an impossible task, and Conte said he would be offering his resignation, but there was no question over who he thought was responsible. Let me say that Interior Minister Salvini has shown that he is following his own interests and those of his party. In a blistering attack against Salvini, Conte accused him of unleashing further turmoil and in doing so, endangering Italy's already stagnant economy. But the League party leader was unrepentant. I would do again everything I did, everything, with the great strength of being a free man. Therefore, it means I'm not afraid of the judgment of the Italians. Overshadowing this impasse has been Matteo Salvini's own political agenda. Vocally anti-migrant, he's also waged war on the NGOs that have attempted to rescue asylum seekers crossing the Mediterranean. And it's a tactic that has had success. Support for his views have increased across the country, turning his party into a force that cannot be ignored. In the middle of this political drama, this Spanish rescue vessel hovering off the coast of Lampedusa with dozens of vulnerable people on board. For more than two weeks, they had not been given permission to disembark. The open arms vessels repeatedly requested permission to dock despite continued rejection. Some on board became so frantic, they risked their own lives by jumping into the sea, attempting to swim to land. They were rescued by nearby Italian Coast Guard vessels. On Tuesday, a local prosecutor visited the vessel and issued an emergency measure allowing it to dock in Lampedusa. But this is one incident among many others. Despite tough new laws preventing such landings, they still arrive. Desperate for safety in Europe, no matter the cost of reaching there. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Rome.